One of the most important skills you can have as a developer is using some tool once and then forming a superiority complex about it and telling everyone they should use it even though you really don't have that much experience with it yourself. I pulled this off pretty masterfully. When I was a beginner, I used the Z shell because that's the default com the default shell on a Max that comes installed with them. And I remember configuring it using uh, Oh My Zish. And then a couple years passed, I didn't really think about it. And then I saw some video about the new shell, or maybe I came across its GitHub, and I started using that. And I was like, oh wow, the LS looks a lot cooler. Uh, I must be way better. And I overheard some guy in my high school talking to his friend about how he was like configuring Z shell with with oh my zush and i was like wow i'm so much better than that guy look how much farther i've come that i'm using this superior shell that has these better features but in reality that was a complete farce i've developed longer than that guy i was maybe a better programmer but not at all for that reason and actually now i know that Z shell is probably the better shell. I've come around to it because it's uh, POSIX compliant. It's just like very well established. All these scripts will work in it. It's got all this infrastructure around it. It's just a great shell. It's got like all the features you need. It's just a classic one. New shell and fish and stuff like sure they have some cool features. If you don't know like Z shell and bash are kind of the OGs. They have like all the they're they're kind of like the classic ones. And so there's a lot of tooling for them and everything will just work well. Whereas shells like um, New and Fish, and I think there are others, maybe probably Rust-based ones, they have like cool trendy features, but the syntax is actually different. And especially like New makes some dramatic changes. And you do get some benefits from that, but also like there are a lot of just really weird things. Like they store their config files in weird places by default. It's like the Vim mindset. I just want to SSH into something and just have it be the same every time. I don't want to like have all these scripts and then just they won't work. Like honestly, at that point, I feel like you just use like Python as your default shell if if it's that different. But yeah, be careful forming superiority complexes. Those are dangerous. I used Fish for a long time just because it was a lot easier for me to configure and I didn't really care. But for some reason I was like intimidated away from bash because I thought like oh I have to set up all these insane things or not bash z shell they're somewhat similar z shell just has more features um, but actually no it's so easy it's like incredibly easy to set up it's just like five lines and you're good to go and plus like all the config stuff just works a lot better it's just such a headache to have to deal with like random new shell nonsense and also the config file being in like app data on on a mac is like so weird that's where like normie apps store their data you know 